Hey guys, Jill here, and I have a little haul video to show you. I picked up some of the new things that are out right now. I, I just couldn't resist. So, first I'll just show you this again. I showed you this last night, and I used this on my project already. But again, I picked these up at Joann's. They have an entire selection of cling stamps, and one of my Michaels has a big selection of cling stamps like Hero Arts, Stampendous, Hampton Arts, and then Recollections brand. And then Joann's has a whole bunch of new ones. And they're really reasonably priced and they're on sale, 40% off at Joann's. And I'm not sure, I don't think they're on sale at Michael's this week, but they were. But anyway, check those out. <coughs> I also have been looking for seam binding. I ended up in breaking down and going and buying the 100 yard roll and I found it on both Etsy and eBay and all I did was search for seam binding. So I have a big roll coming and it was reasonable. But in the meantime I've been working on these projects and I was looking for something else to work with. So after touching and feeling every single one of these little things at Joann's, I found the twill tape. And actually, I think my husband found this. It's thin like seam binding. I mean, it's not quite seam binding, but in a pinch, it's going to work great. And it's got that same texture. It's not like twill. It's nothing like my twill ribbon. So again, in a pinch, it would work. So it's half inch wide twill tape. I placed an order with Your Scrapbook Supply, and that's their website, is yourscrapbooksupply.com, as well as she is an eBay seller. And I have to say, impressive. There was free shipping over $50, which sometimes it's $75, and I got an email right away. This stuff went out. I think I ordered this late Thursday night or late Friday night even. And she sent it priority and it was waiting for me this afternoon. So here's what I got. And you guys know me. I, I love things like free shipping, especially free shipping. So my order was just over 50 But the prices on these things were really good. So I got the Bow Bunny Brads and... Again, like, I priced these out at my scrapbook store. They were $5.99. And I know they have overhead, and the seller doesn't. And I try to buy them from my local scrapbook store. But that was, let's see, a $2 difference. These were $3.86. So a little over $2. And I, I bought some stuff there. But, I, you know, I have to save some money so I can stretch my money. And I love this one. But I already have a mini planned with this, and I'm loving everything in the Gabrielle collection. I just, I want it all. <laughs> but I, I controlled myself. Then I got these Sculpture Flowers from Prima. They're really bright colors, but I figure I can separate some of them out and then use these as molds. So I'm going to plan to try to mold these with my UD. We'll see how they come out because of all the little dips and stuff. They might not look good. But I can always tone these down with some paint. And I, d I love the shape. And I'm loving these little plastic flowers. And those, of course, are Prima. I got another package of the Vintage Trinkets. Yeah, and these were $4.49, so again, I say $0.50. Cents. They don't have these at my local scrapbook store. But if they did, at $5, I'd pay that for them. It's just things like the Brad's were a huge difference. And this is the one with the book holder, the book piece, I guess. And this is a gem. It's really pretty. And then a tassel. So I should have fun with that. And it will go with the other ones I have. <laughs> so... Love that. I picked up a few Prima stamps. They're $1.70. And this one is a bunch of little swirls. And I love just adding these like at the bottom of a page of a book. In a corner. They're just really great to use. I'm going to see the other one. Ah, and of course you guys know me. 
There's a bird and a bird cage. And I know these are hard to see. And there's nothing on the back. But I think this one goes with the new, I want to say Madeline. And they're, they're so weird with their marking of things. But I'm pretty sure this is Madeline. So, I really like that bird cage. Then, the thing that I am so excited about, and I'm so glad it got here fast, is she had two of the three sets of the Hampton Art Graphic 45 Once Upon a Springtime Cling Stamps, set one and three. So I'm still looking for set two. So this has the fairy, the weird little bird. I think that one's really strange. And the title, which is going to go on the top of my page, and the mice. And the mice are really hard to see, but they're actually really cute. And then, of course, the dragonfly. Love it. The mushrooms. The fairy on the mushroom. That might be my favorite. And the butterfly. So I was really happy to get these. And I also went ahead and picked up... The 12 by 12 Once Upon a Springtime packet because I, believe it or not, I've already used over half of the 8 by 8 pack that Susan sent me for my birthday and I haven't even really gotten into the mini and I've already, you know, just torn into that so much that I decided I needed this. Okay, then at my local scrapbook store. Like I said, they had the Gabrielle, and the store I go to, again, it's in Orlando. Those of you visiting Orlando, it's a really nice store. They um, are in an area called Hunter's Creek, and the name is Pigtails. And if you have, have any questions, you know, obviously, you can send me a message, but I always like going in there. They're always helpful. They have the entire Stella and Rose collection from my mind's eye. They got in Gabrielle, and they also got in Timepiece and the books and all the findings and stuff and I had to control myself and like I said I limited myself to the one set of brads for my book <laughs> but I got these papers and this is the cut aparts so there's the back and the front and I know a lot of people are starting to get these aren't they gorgeous I just love all the depth you know all the little details this one. Love. Who am I kidding? I love them all. And like I said, I already have a mini planned with these, but my springtime mini comes first now that I have all the supplies. And look at these butterflies. And again, it's one of those things where they carry certain motifs and the same kind of swirl throughout. I have a stamp like this. And, of course, I have a ton of butterfly stamps, so that's going to make it really nice to work with. And see, there's that motif again. And then there's a lacy butterfly that I really like. And I have a stamp similar to it, but look at that. And even just the back side of this one. That's actually going to be probably the first one I use. This butterfly. I have a stamp similar to that, and I just think that is really nice. And these are so cool. Again, all the little architectural-like details in here. And these are one of those that I wanted as soon as I saw somebody show them on YouTube. But then when you actually see them and you see all, you know, like the texture and stuff to them, not the paper's not textured, but, you know, the, the texture in the design like this, and yeah, you know, they're just hard to pass up. Plus, I really like the colors with the chocolate and the orange, or the, the peach, I guess, tangerine, I'd say, and the aqua. This is cool. And again, I like that it's big and small, and then fleur de lis. I'm a sucker for fleur de lis. And then this one combines all the colors and a whole bunch of those butterflies again. And see, even the polka dot one's interesting. It's got that, you know, the polka dots with stuff in them and that fleur de lis. And more newsprint. Yep, yeah, I'm going to really, really love these. And I love this page, how they're all faded. And then this one's really cool, too. So that's what I managed to get. And then I got the chipboard, again, for the Gabrielle. And that's got a lot of really 
really pretty things in that motif again. So, planning to get you good use out of all of this. And that's everything. So, as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And thanks for stopping by, and have a great day.